Hi everyone, here we go again. I have an AliExpress unboxing for you. Stick with me and we'll see which one it is. Yep, this took a month or more, and I'll look up on when I ordered it and how long it took to come from AliExpress and the store right here, if I can get it all in there, all right? And then in the con in the description below, I will show you what, you know, where to get it, the, the link and everything, if you like it. So they usually do come in a box, and they usually put paper around it. A lot of times it looks like trash, black trash bags. And sometimes it's yellow and it has tape all the way around it. So this one's a little different. It did come through customs. I saw when it comes through customs. And I guarantee you, because it is taped up again, I guarantee you this is one of them they pulled because um, the, the bag that it actually come in, it come in with some other supplies that I had ordered for my crafting and it looked like it was put on by customs so if you've ever watched those shows where they go through the customs uh, and they pull stuff that could be drugs or paraphernalia or anything like that and you know these diamonds to their little x-rays probably look just like contraband or whatever so anyways I you can tell it's been opened and retaped so. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. I understand it. And when people do that kind of stuff, it makes it harder on all of us. And I want them to catch people that ain't got no more better business of fooling around with that kind of crazy mess. Um, they they have better yeah they have, they have better sense than that. Seriously, you have better sense than to be messing with around with some drugs. And, and stuff and getting it from China to resell it and all that. I'm gonna go on a rant That's not okay. This is how it come. This one comes came in a shrink wrap It's shrink wrapped. So I'm sure they probably because this has been opened They probably pull this out to look to see if there was anything stuck Inside it so this side is not well. It does look like they've you know, they have probably took it and done that to see if there was anything in it. And they didn't see anything, so they packaged that up. And here we go. Come on. There we go. Everything's out. So, you can tell they've went through that box, and that's great. They're doing the job. Great. It come with a big boat. One of the big ones. One of the big ones. And the good tweezers, remember, these sharp, sharp, sharp tweezers, do not drop them on your feet. Unless you want to be stuck. I mean, it's going to be like a, like Indians done got you with arrows. There's the wax. You get two of them. You get a placer. And, uh, it's the pink diamond tool. Oh, and there's a little bitty one in there, too. A little bitty boat. My goodness. And then a, a six placer, no, yep, yep, or the longer ones. I don't use them, so I'm not real familiar with them. But you get two boats. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that at all. But you get two boats in there. Look at there. This is a good company. And I love them big boats. Them big boat. The only thing about the big boat, it doesn't have a pour spout. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. Okay. Anyways, I'm being picky. I know I'm picky, picky, picky. I'm doing this really quick because i got to go get my grandbabies in just a minute. Okay, here is the inventory sheet. It comes with an inventory sheet. This is why I like AliExpress big pictures because you get an extra inventory sheet. And you can see the little picture at the top. What it's going to be, maybe. Maybe you can see it if it will. Will it? Is it? I don't know. Okay, but you can see all the symbols and things. If it's if it's showing up, you know, 
I hope it's showing up for you. And I'm not going too fast. And it's actually zooming in on it. Okay. You can see it is 48 colors. 70 by 50. So I do like my big pictures. Alright. So. All the drills came in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they went through each and every one of these. Because whenever they package these, these are usually in, is stacked so pretty and neat and tight in this bag that they won't move. And they're all just, you know, they're not willy-nilly like this. That's where it's went through quarantine. It's went through quarantine. And hopefully none of the bags have been opened and anything has fallen out. In, at the quarantine facility. <laughs> okay. Now remember, youngins, what I said about these things. Craft supply right there. You can make things out of that. And I showed, I had one on here about making marshmallow garlands uh, and uh, for Christmas. Uh, and then you could you could probably even mod podge or glue some fabric on it to make it look like pink gingham for a farmhouse or red gingham or whatever. And see now that right there. I don't really like them being packaged in the shrink wrap because you really you just tear it as it comes off. Now they did tape it in the middle, which I like that better because. And I know it's not archival tape. It's already turning yellow. Okay. There's that tape. And I'll stick it right there for a second. And it is not poured glue. It is the, it is the double-sided um, paper. And it's, made, and it's from Momo Art. Okay. And I'm going to have to move some things around on my desk really quick to get it to it looks like it's not creased in any way or any shape or form it has multiple layers multiple section i mean multiple sections of the glue of, but it looks like to me it's where they could have cut ripped it in multiple sections, but it, they've put it down on one, in one. You can just see the perforations where it would have been. It, well, I don't know, right there, it looks like it overlapped just a bit. So these, you have to be very careful that they don't overlap like this. So if you pull this one up, if you pull this one up, look what's gonna happen. It's gonna pull this glue up because the glue is underneath the, the cover, right? So whenever you open this up, you have to make sure that the, you're pulling up the top one. And make sure your corners, rub your corners down really hard before you pull it. And your edge, because some people have pulled, and I have too, went to go to pull this up. And they've actually started pulling up the glue with it. So we don't want to do it. Now you can see how it's coming up in, in oops. Now, I don't want to tear it. It started to tear. This is what we do not like. We have realized, any of us that have been doing this for a little while now, that we do not like the uh, double-sided tape diamond paintings because there's more issues with them. They have been known to dry the glue, not to be as good quality. Um... But I've noticed a lot of the big, big, big pictures, especially from AliExpress, come like this. Only the little small ones come with the little, um, the, the cord glue. But it seems like more and more are getting better at doing it in the cord glue fashion. Now this is going to be horrible to try to hold up for you with all these strips and see it is in strips now it wasn't just perforated they just put it on so good it looked like it was just perforated now see now 
one of these tore and left some of the paper on the canvas. If you get paper stuck or hair or anything like that to your canvas, use a baby, baby wipe. And there's my alarm to go pick up my grandbabies. But I'll show you this really quickly if I can, even though it's in strips, it's gonna be kind of hard. I may just roll it up underneath it. Okay, you can see it's gonna be really hard. Okay, to do it. I'll keep them from folding back up on it. So you can see these little boys are playing marbles. This is an old timey one that these boys are playing marbles. Isn't that awesome? It's so sweet. It is so sweet. And it and you can see the key. You can see the picture there. What it's gonna look like. I don't want to stick it to anything. So you can see it. 48 colors. And there's that one side. So what I'm gonna do is gonna try to. I don't see anything. This is actually probably one of the better ones that I have seen that has been the double-sided tape. Now you notice how that straightened that out and this other side is curly. So now I'll go ahead and show you this other side before I leave. These are so precious. I love these old paintings, these old pictures of these little little young'uns doing the old timey fun and games that they do, little marbles. My dad tells me about when he would do marbles and, and how he would play and, and be able to use his shooter marble, which was the big marble, the big, big, big one, and shoot out other kids marbles and be able to take them home so it was a keepers game if you shot their marble out okay all right let's see if this will work everybody stay put where you're supposed to all right how about that how do y'all like that i'm gonna get back so you can see it a little better you see that little boy and that little dog laying there? He's sitting there watching. He is watching them play marbles, and you probably can't see the bottom. Okay, let's see. I know it's aggravating. This is why I like those plastic ones. I'm trying to get a hold of them so you can see it. Okay, come on. My hair's wanting to stick this. It's curling up over here. But there you go. You see that little boy playing in marbles? I hope I'm on camera. I can't tell. But yeah, there you go. There's an old little back lot. <laughs> little alleyway. Playing in marbles with their little dog. You know, I just love these. Aren't they so special? And when I get back from taking the kids, I mean, Grabbing the kids from school, I will show you. Ah, I'm stuck. It's shot. It's it's sticky. I will show you the individual uh, diamonds, and we'll count them out to see if they all are here. So, anyways, I will be back in just a little while. Okay, everybody, I'm back from getting the grandbabies, and they're in there with their chips. And, and their milk for their after, the little after school snack. And sometimes they get other things to eat. They just didn't want a sandwich today or anything else. They're just, they're watching Ice Age on, <laughs> on the TV. So anyways, what I left off with is we were about to open up this. And it's all willy-nilly now, which is not in, in order because I'm sure that the government had, I mean, the government, the U.S. Customs had to go through them because, you know, these things do look kind of suspicious if you, you think about it, if it was 
looking through an x-ray and and I also I will show you them as I pull them out and we will check them off and put them back in See if I have a pen yep I do uh oh two of the two of the numbers have come off Wait, I don't know what that is why there's a 5151 right here on the bag because that's not how the the bags are labeled I don't know what, what that is all about but anyways I've got them all out and I'm gonna have to go through and find the number one and all that stuff so it, I may even speed this up just to go through it but I want to show you the, the, the colors too so, I, but I want to go through and check this off, all right? And I may, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt you down. If we can get it to, to do right. All right, okay, now. of diamond painting that they whenever you're checking off um, whenever you get a new one in you need to check it off so now here is 46 47 don't wait months and years before you start checking them don't just put them away you need to open them up check them check the canvas for any problems anything like that and see now I didn't stack them as good as they they do at the factory but you know how that goes I'm just not that good at doing this stuff so ha but there there's in somewhat order it's where whenever I do go to put them in the the um, containers they will be in somewhat of an order so there we go, and there's my inventory sheet. Everything is checked off. Oh, and I usually put my inventory sheet. Sorry, y'all. I've already opened, closed that up. I see. I didn't do it right. I'm sorry. I usually will put my inventory sheet to where you can see the the picture. All right, and I will stuff that down in there like this, like that. And then I will roll it. I try to get it as tight as I can. And then roll it as tight as I can. That way. I can store this now in another place. And I don't have to uh, store it inside the diamond painting. So I can actually put this diamond painting in, in, in a flat thing under under something flat so and not keep it rolled up all right so that's that's the way that's going to go so that's the aliexpress diamond painting that i had shipped to me and um i just i love it so much i'm going to put a picture of it here um that's what it's supposed to look like and when i get done i hope it all looks just it's going to be as pretty as these and pretty as this 
I've got a lot of really sweet ones like this, and you can see them in some of my other, uh, if you binge watch my channel or you want to look at some of the other unboxings that I got um, from AliExpress and things like that, you do have to wait a while. And you figure out which companies you like better than others. On AliExpress, now they do sell some things on AliExpress that's not appropriate for little viewers. Um, it's not as, well, I don't like some of that stuff. I mean, I'm not, I, I don't promote any of that. I'm just, you just, don't just look through AliExpress just to be looking through AliExpress. You're going to see some ugly stuff. Do a search. Do a search for exactly what you want. That way, it'll be okay. So I do have to warn you, sometimes they have stuff for sale that is just, because it's a different country, they sell everything. Now, the one thing you do want to do with AliExpress is find out when their sales are going to happen. Uh, they'll have big sales, and some things won't be as expensive as whenever, and, and I always tell you, put it in your, put it in your AliExpress cart. If it's too expensive, at the time, wait and see if it will come down at different times of the year. Sometimes they have big sales at certain times. Right now, though, at this very moment, here it is at the 1st of February, they're celebrating uh, Chinese New Year. They'll be off for a whole month. Everything just stops for like a whole month. And uh, their posting, postal services, they don't want it to get so backed up. So they raise the prices on the actual AliExpress to discourage ordering at that time because they don't want it to all get backed up and then they're swamped, you know. So then whenever they come back, there'll be a sale and then you'll be, you know, it'll get back going. So that's the only problem. There's certain times of the year that they, their holidays, they take totally off and a lot of people complain. I haven't heard from them. They haven't done this. It's took over three weeks. A lot of times that happens because it is a different country. They have they do their holidays a whole lot different from us. And a lot of people aren't familiar with that. And so they think that they should get it like, you know, Amazon Prime two days. It's not going to work that way. So um, these are a lot cheaper. The sizes you're getting them cheaper on AliExpress when they're having them set on sale than if you was to try to get this size in America. If you was trying to get this size in America, honey, it would be 60 and up. Okay, so it is what it is. I don't really like having to order and wait, but I'm able to get some of the things that I like that I couldn't get just the run of the mill, same old, same old stuff over here. Uh, Amazon has some good starting and some good, good diamond paintings. But if you want some really different ones, this one's not available anymore. This one is available still. I do think, and the one with the bear and the file colors that I showed in the previous, one of my previous videos, it's available still. So, um, so if you see something you like that's very unique, Get it, but be patient, okay? Watch for those sales. Watch to see when it, they're off of their holiday. And uh, just make sure you target what you really want to be looking at. You can follow the, the stores, the individual stores, and it will actually show you what they have. But, uh, you know, I'm doing this like, you know, because I'm, I'm on my phone or whatever, scrolling down, looking at all the different stuff. But uh, don't, don't, don't think it's bad. If you have a store on AliExpress that you want to buy a diamond painting from and you're not really care, you, you haven't bought from that store because it's, it's groups of stores, thousands of different stores in one place, sort of like different stores on Amazon. Well, if you have a store that, a particular store that you, you want a diamond painting from, and you have not, order from them before 
and you're kind of scared and you want to want to know you have questions let me know and i'll see if i have bought from them I always look at the reviews to see if they have uh delivered and if they have replaced sent diamonds that were missing or anything like that so uh <laughs> It's a big wide world of diamond painting and crafting and all kinds of things. And I'm here to try to help you. I know I'm learning as much as I can with you. And a lot of times I'm opening up these things and trying these things for the first time right there in front of you. It is all genuine. I do not, I mean, I will not make a, uh, a false review. I won't. And I have told companies that have approached me that want me to do a review and tried to give me the pictures and tried to give me the actual review wording to what to say, to copy and paste it. And I said, no, I don't do that. I don't do that at all. I do it the way I wouldn't want it to be done if I was reading it, checking out the reviews. So beware, some of those are fake reviews on Amazon and different places. So you can tell if you really look you can tell who's the right ones and who's not it's okay to be a little bit of procrastination there you know i don't know if that's that's going to be reliable just be aware of that i will not do that i will not and i told them i said i'm sorry i cannot do that if i do a review it's going to be 100 percent legitimate and trustworthy and honest because i will i'll say okay i don't like this or I don't like that, and this needs to be done different. This is broke, you know. I won't run the company down unless it's just really pathetic. I mean, pathetic. Sometimes that helps those companies to do things better. I have actually contacted some of the companies and told them, hey, you've got to stop using rubber bands. You've got to stop doing this, that, and the other because it is ruining, ruining, ruining your canvases. And a lot of them like to have that feedback because the sellers are at a different place than the factories. They send the orders into the factories, the factories box them up and send them out. They don't know if those factories are putting things in willy-nilly and not caring about it. So whenever it's been told to them how it's done, they can improve on it. So anyways, don't be afraid to be honest. You can be nice honest. You don't have to be a a smart aleck, you know, but you know, sometimes it's hard not to be a smart aleck. We're all human. We're all human. <laughs> but uh, thank you for watching this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. God bless each and every one of you. Bye. <laughs>